Hey, it's Whitney. This is a quick introduction to a vlog I'm about to show you, which leads you through an average day of mine from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. I just grabbed the camera and took you through all these little moments throughout my day. It's like the most real authentic video I've made in a while because you'll see me without makeup, you'll see my, my place as a mess, things that I normally try to hide. I just did it in this video because I wanted to be my full self for you to, to make you feel like you're coming along with me. So I'm really excited to show you this. A big theme, theme of this video is how I stay energized throughout the day, how I just sustain it so that I feel as joyful, as present, as productive as possible. These are really important things for me because they contribute to my well-being and uh, you know I work almost every single day so I want to feel really good and I know that feeling low stress and reducing anxiety, getting enough sleep, just feeling happy is something that all of you are looking for support on so I hope you'll enjoy all the little tips I have sprinkled throughout this video, the products that I'm using, the little tweaks that I make throughout my day, things that I'm just doing right now in my life. I'll talk about things that I've been experimenting with and, and using a lot to feel my best, such as CBD, which is something I've been getting increasingly passionate about. I've taken a variety of CBD products. It's If you didn't know this, it's a natural plant extract that can help with things like reducing stress and anxiety. It's really wonderful for a lot of different healing in your body, so I've been super curious about it. And I'll also talk about melatonin, which is something I've been experimenting with a lot over the past few months to help me regulate my sleep. As you'll see in this honest view of my life, I kind of have odd hours and just getting enough sleep is so important to me, but sometimes something I struggle with. Actually, I found out that one in three people have some sort of sleep challenge, whether it's insomnia or some sort of a sleep disorder, sleep apnea, there's so many things. And I get asked all the time, what, what can you do naturally? So this video should answer some of that. And uh, this is actually brought to you by a brand that I partnered with who wanted me to make a video on sleep. I thought this was a great opportunity. They're called X Sprays, and they make these wonderful plant-based formulations with CBD as their primary ingredient. So I was really excited to try them. I've been taking them for the last two or three weeks, I think. My favorite one is their sleep formulation, which I take almost every night. It has melatonin in it, so it's a great combo, plus a few other amazing natural ingredients, herbal remedies that I feel like are super effective for me. I also talk about in this video their energy formulation, which helps me when I feel like I'm having a little crash, but I don't want to have coffee. Uh, so yeah, you'll, you'll get to see a firsthand experience, uh, my experience of them and my review of them and all of that. If you'd like to learn more about X-Brays, I encourage you to check out the link in the description field. It also includes a discount code for you if you want to check them out. And uh, it's a great way to just learn about a brand that I love and I'm so grateful to have them as a sponsor. Well, with no further ado, here's the vlog. Hope you enjoy it. Good morning. Good morning. I just woke up and so did Evie. Hey! She always gets so excited. Like as long as soon as I move, she's ready to go. Wait, don't leave! I love waking up next to her. She usually sleeps right next to me, and it's just something so sweet and soothing about having my dog with me in bed. I have a little um, sound play. What's the word I'm looking for? A white noise that I play. I've been doing this for years. I currently use an app called Rain Rain. And I just set it up on my iPhone. It's usually a lot louder, but I didn't want it to get in the way of me talking. And this just, as you can see, it's 10.30 a.m. and I'm still in bed. Part of that is because I'm recording this on a Saturday and part of that is because um, what I'll often do is I wake up between 9.30 and 10.30 a.m and then I'll sit in bed for as long as I as I can. I'm aiming to do a minimum of an hour of meditation every day as soon as I wake up. So I have done a little of that this morning and I'm going to go do some more of that. My other favorite lately is this one called Endel. Looks like this. It has really good sounds. Takes a second to kick in. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> and then uh, lately I, I like to use some sort of aromatherapy and this is a new one. This is called Moonlight. This is really nice for the evening. That's when you're supposed to spray it, but I'll just spray it around me like this. A little mist myself, get some aromatherapy. Sometimes I'll light a candle, which I don't th really feel like doing that right now, but I keep all this stuff right by my bed so I can easily grab it. And then I'll prop myself up with my my memory foam pillow. And I find that if I sit like this, I tend to be in a good posture to meditate. And I'll just close my eyes and try to drop into a moment of peace and stillness and not get too wrapped up in my thoughts and my feelings. I love doing this as a way to start my day because it just sets me off in the right place. It gets me out of my head and more into my heart and it really can help line me up for having a positive day. So that's why this is the most important thing I do to start my day. I'll see you afterwards. Finished my meditation. Didn't quite go for an hour and I got disturbed a bunch of times, but I feel good. And meditation is such a practice, so I gotta just practice every day. Now, one thing that is really important to me is doing my best not to turn on the internet on my phone. I use my phone for music and for the alarm and all that, but, but I try not to check text messages unless it's really important or emails or social media, especially for as long as possible. <laughs> Uh, the, what I am doing right now is looking at my yoga schedule because I try to go to yoga classes almost every day. Just see what classes are available the rest of the week and just kind of make sure that anything I've signed up for is something that still feels good to me. And prioritizing that is just as important as prioritizing meditation. These are my blackout shades which help keep the light away while I'm sleeping. Come on. I have a little backyard, so I just let her go out there. I'm gonna have some filtered water. This is another thing I like to do as often as possible throughout the day, but definitely first thing in the morning. For a while, I was taking probiotics first thing in the morning. These are the probiotics I'm taking right now from Sun Warrior. But actually, I found out that most probiotics say, well, this one says before a meal, so I guess I could take this like right before I eat. But I used to take probiotics first thing in the morning and a lot of them actually recommend that they're taken like with or right before a meal. So what I'll do is I'll put it here on my counter to remind me to take it and I'll put it like somewhere where I'll be preparing my lunch later. And now I'm going to have some coffee. <laughs> I got into coffee sometime this year in 2018 and now I want it every single day for better or for worse. And I go through a lot of different phases with the types of coffee I drink. But sometimes when I'm just kind of feeling lazy, I'll buy cold brew or nitrogen coffee. And one of my favorite places to get that is Trader Joe's because they have organic nitro cold brew. Tastes really good and it's a very good price. I think this bottle is $2.99 I wanna say. There's 10 ounces in here and I usually don't drink the whole bottle. And I put some in this jar the other day. I'm gonna add in some coconut milk. Lately, I've been adding it in straight from the can, organic coconut cream or coconut milk, and then a little water to dilute it. And then I'll put in some sweetener. This has been my favorite one lately. This monk fruit is so phenomenal. Highly, highly recommend. So that's usually my combo if I'm having cold, coffee and then I'll often put this on ice and make my own little iced coffee at home. And then if I want hot co coffee, I'll, I'll make it. I'll do a French press style coffee. I've been really thinking about getting an espresso machine of some sort because that's my favorite form of coffee. But I want to find a really eco-friendly way of, of doing that. So the things like uh, an espresso, which I think is brilliant, but really wasteful. Maybe I could like get the type of refillable caps or something like that. If any of you have ideas, I would love to hear it or know what you use.
now that I have my coffee, I will do a little bit of work. Sometimes I work in bed and sometimes I work at my desk, which is where I am right now. And uh, I also turn on my internet for the first time. I always keep that off when I'm sleeping or anytime I don't need internet because it reduces EMFs. I have a whole video about this. I'll link in the description if you're curious to learn more about that. Today, I am going to work on my new online course, which is called Wellness Warrior Training. And uh, just kind of getting everything prepped for uh, the course material. I also am going to make my bed because seeing that behind me right now is really frustrating and the rest of my place needs to be tidied so that's something I'm gonna work on today too. I just took my watch off of the charger. This Apple watch is absolutely incredible. Highly recommend it for tracking all sorts of things. You can track your heart rate, how much you're moving your body. Uh, it's got all sorts of cool tools in it in addition to the time. I'm taking a break after working on a new video and I felt so great after having the coffee, but now I feel like my energy has gone down a little. So I'm going to have some, an energy spray from X Sprays, who is the sponsor of this video. They have a wonderful formulation with CBD. I just have to find where I put it. Aha! This is a wonderful alternative to caffeine from coffee or tea because it's formulated to be specifically for energy, not just like for flavor. It's not too much caffeine. It gives me like the perfect amount of energy and it's also a lot easier to take than to make coffee or tea. So you just spray a little in the inside of your cheeks. Mm, it tastes really good. What does it taste like? Kind of like berries, I guess? And it tastes like a vitamin. So you want to spray it both sides of the cheek. And then I'm talking, so I'm kind of ruining this. But you're supposed to hold it in your mouth before swallowing for about 20 seconds to really let it absorb. And this has CBD, is one of the main things, plus ashwagandha, astragalus, beet, green tea. So there's some caffeine from that. Uh, ginseng and mango fruit. Ooh, chocolate and coffee flavors. Hmm, I guess now that I know that, it actually does taste like that. Interesting. And some stevia in it for sweetness. It's such a good formulation, and they're an amazing company. They're based in Phoenix, and you'll see later on there's another product of theirs that I love so much. It's definitely time for a snack slash lunch. Some days I'm a little lazy, so I try to think about what's the quickest food I can consume. I just made myself kind of like a avocado toast, but on a cracker. So it's a gluten-free cracker made with seeds and I mashed up some avocado and then mixed in some of my favorite ingredients for this. Everything but the bagel from Trader Joe's. This pop zest cheese flavor is nutritional yeast with some seasoning. So it gives it kind of cheesy flavor. And then I put on some organic olive oil as well and some cherry tomatoes. I actually ended up making three of those avocado toast crackers. <laughs> Those were incredible, so highly recommend that you try those. But also, the CBD energy gave me like a perfect amount of energy along with food. Ooh, and now I get to take my probiotics. Technically, I was supposed to take the probiotics before the meal, but I forgot. <laughs> but at least I took them around a meal. I'm headed over to a different area of Los Angeles so that I can charge my car and so that I can get some work done remotely. And that's why I'm wearing my glasses. I wear these when I am driving. Beautiful here. I actually think that I'm going to work in my car. I thought about, sometimes I go to a cafe around here I only need to charge for like maybe half an hour to an hour and I'm gonna get to work. Just got home from charging and I have a party to go to tonight, which actually this is fairly common for me. I go to a lot of different events, even though I'm pretty introverted and much prefer to stay home. <laughs> It's socializing and networking and all that. So I am going to 
do my makeup. My makeup routine takes me under 10 minutes. It's really quick and I've been doing the same makeup routine for so long that I have it down. <laughs> I'll make little adjustments to it, but for the most part, you're gonna see like the basic stuff. And I have a makeup routine video. It'll be linked down below in case you're interested in products that I'm using and generally how I do my makeup. One thing that I just dropped. Oh no. <laughs> Talk about real life. I was just about to take some of uh, the X spray energy to give myself a little boost of energy for this party and dropped it on the floor and the cap fell off. But let's see. Oh, this still works. I typically watch YouTube videos while I'm getting ready. And now I have something in my eye. Excellent. I don't think I'm going to document the party because I just want to have fun and be present. And that's also very important. So take the fact that I'm not documenting it as an example of what I do each day, which is take time to be present with my friends. Just got home from the event and the very first thing I did was to change into some pajamas, comfortable clothes. Because wearing a dress and heels, I can only do for a few hours, or that's all I really want to do. It is a little after midnight now. I was at the party for quite some time. And, um, you know, I had my introverted moments, but I also really enjoyed myself. And now I want to wind down and start getting myself in the mood for to sleep. I tend to like to stay up late at night, so it really helps me to figure out all sorts of little techniques for relaxing my body. So I'm gonna use some aromatherapy again. And this is super helpful. Melatonin has actually been something I've been experimenting with a lot lately. And it's just kind of seeing how well I fall asleep and stay asleep and how refreshed I feel. And I actually really like the effects of it. I'm gonna take this formula, also by x is the wonderful sponsor of this video. And this has CBD. Let me see if I can turn on the light. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Let me turn on the light. This has melatonin, which is why I'm bringing that up, but also the CBD cramp bark. Ooh, actually that's really good for women. I didn't realize that was in here. Fever, fever, fube, ginkgo biloba, ginkgo biloba, hops, passionflower, peppermint, skullcap, valerian root, which is also really good for sleep. Ooh, and it tastes like uh, spearmint. Now the other great thing that I love using to help with my whole bedtime routine is my Swanwick glasses. And these help, these are blue blocker glasses, so that takes away the blue or re really greatly reduces any blue light that you'll get from lamps, that you'll get from your phone, your computer screen, your television, any of that. There's so much blue light. It strains our eyes and it also blocks melatonin production. So taking melatonin and wearing blue blocking glasses will really relax you. I'm gonna turn off this lamp and turn on my, my uh, wonderful salt lamp, which has been part of my night routine for a while. And I'm gonna wash off my makeup, which will require me removing my glasses, unfortunately. <laughs> it's always like a shock when, I, when you take off your blue blocking glasses and then put them back on. Uh, you see just like an incredible contrast. If you're curious about some of the products that I use, I'll let you in on my favorite. So I've been using these every once in a while, the DaVita cleansing cloths. And these are good for removing makeup. The only downside is that I feel like these kind of sting my face and I don't know if they're supposed to. Well, it definitely makes a huge difference because when you look at the cloth afterwards, it's amazing how much <laughs> makeup's on there. And I feel like when I just wash my face, I mean, like this thing is covered in makeup. So helpful and these are nice because they're all plant-based. In terms of cleansers, I have a lot of different products that I've tested out. So I basically walk into my bathroom and just think like, what do I feel like using tonight? I feel like using uh, the Shankara Naturals Hydrating Cleanser, which is neat because it's all Ayurvedic. This is really nice because it is very, um, it feels very, smooth and creamy. It 
smells really nice. It's very soft. It's kind of the opposite of the cleaning cloth. That's probably why I want to use it. The other word I was looking for is refreshing. It just feels so good. They also have a great moisturizer. But before I put this on, I'm gonna put on some of this Bogavia Midnight Repair Oil. I will link, as I keep saying, to all these products down below so you can learn more about them. And then a few squirts of this. For another level, oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Wow, I feel just so rejuvenated. Now I can put back on my glasses. Next, I'm gonna floss and brush my teeth. I use my Brush with Bamboo toothbrush, and I've been into the Schmitz deodorant. <laughs> well, actually, this isn't deodorant. <laughs> this is toothpaste. But the people that make my favorite deodorant, Schmitz, also make a toothpaste. So they're covering a lot of your bath needs. They also have a really lovely soap. And um, this is nice, it's a vanilla chai flavor. It's quite tasty. Sometimes I take a bath before bed, that's really nice. Um, but I took a bath last night and I try not to take it too frequently. It's nice to relax. I'll use magnesium salts and all that. And uh, yeah, generally I'm just brushing my teeth, washing my face and moisturizing. The other thing I like to do is set my alarm for the next day. I've been using the bedtime app on the iPhone. Hmm, I usually like to give myself at least eight hours of sleep, so I can't believe how late it is. I think that I've had enough time on my phone and my computer today. Nothing's urgent. I don't want to watch anything or consume anything else except for some information. So I usually read nonfiction books, a lot of like spiritual books, business books, health books. And actually this is one I have not read yet that I just picked off my shelf, which is all about whole pet healing, a heart to heart guide to connecting with caring for your animal companion, which I, is a subject I'd like to learn more about. That seems like a nice soothing way to uh, <laughs> ease myself into slumber. I'm gonna listen to Moby's Long Ambience Calm Sleep album. I love starting with track number two. I found this really soothing. This night routine really did the trick because I am so tired. <laughs> and it just crept on me very fast. The combination of the melatonin, the CBD, and these glasses and the relaxing music and reading a soothing book. You know that moment when you're reading and suddenly you you realize you've not been absorbing any of the words? <laughs> That's just what happened to me. And I closed my eyes for a moment to kind of like meditate or reflect and I started to fall asleep. So I'm going to fall asleep. Thank you so much for joining me on this day, this journey. I hope you enjoyed seeing what my life is like. You know, my, my days are pretty different, to be honest, but this gives you like a, a peek into the closest average I possibly have at the moment. I hope you enjoyed learning about all the different things that I've been using. Thank you so much to x for being a wonderful sponsor. You can check them, them out. They have a discount code for you there. So don't miss out on that if you want to try their amazing CBD formulas. They have something for pretty much anything you could possibly need. And I my absolute favorite one is the sleep formulation because it works like a charm. I've used it while I've been traveling. I've used it while, you know, on just any nights like this. It's it's fantastic. And just make sure that you're checking in on the dosage that works best for your body. That's also helpful. Do a little experimenting. Do some reading about power of melatonin. And you'll figure out something that works great for you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to support you seriously anytime. Leave me a comment. Send me an email. Send me a message. All my social media accounts are down below. You can private message me or publicly message me, whatever you would like. I truly love hearing from you. I'm here to support you on your journey. I'm going to go to bed and uh, I'll see you next time.